This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaper Land. And here we are. Hey, hello. It's Friday. Happy Friday, folks. Happy, happy Fourth of July weekend. Yeah, happy birthday, Reaper Miniatures, on Monday. Green users. Oh, hi, green users. It's going to be 30 years old. Oh, yeah. man, Bob and Julie with the emojis. Oh. Look at that frog. I don't think they use emojis often. You could hover over it to see where it's from. Where yeah, it says from. OS Frog. Who are you guys subscribed to? It's probably a, 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 Twitch has their own, like their own bank of emotes, so you can use those. Yeah, Real Dave is back. Yes, everybody. It's Real Dave. I think it's Real Dave. John yeah. Poke Dave and see if it's real. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, that's, <laughs> Virtual oh Dave. that's what it was. That what? was the, um, the what I was going to clip last night from the show when you yeah. said, uh, I go, Dave, do you want one? You open your mouth. Yo, yeah, yeah. It was perfect. Oh, yeah, it was. I can clip that. It worked out. Um, I also have the clip of uh, a few weeks ago when we, we were doing this. Yeah, we yeah, fighting. yeah. I have that clip as well. So That's a good one. Very good clips from Virgin. Oh, another emoji from the green users. <laughs> Purple uh-huh. They're emoji They're emoji rich. They're, they're, it's happening. They're evolving. It's happening. So. What about the, the red and white fireworks. Oh, yeah, we can do it. I, uh, speaking of fireworks, oh. I wanted to take Sarah. Uh, in Grapevine, there's this big clock tower uh, mm-hmm. that's at the food hall there. And it's a huge like watchtower that you can take a tour and you can go up there and all that stuff. And last year... They said that they did fireworks up there and it's very limited tickets, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, you know what? We're going to get tickets for that next year. Yeah. We went there. We went there this past weekend. They're all, they sold out immediately. So, oh, shoot. Uh, I think that they, they didn't have a lot of tickets last year because of COVID and all that stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. So everybody's making up for it. Yeah. So I'm kind of sad. That sucks. It's all right. We'll, we'll figure it out. I, I actually don't, I don't have any place to shoot off fireworks. A lot of places have burn bans right now. Yeah. Because of how dry it's been, right? All the heat. So they've been. They normally do them all around the the lakes, right? like yeah. Grapevine Lake and all the yeah. lakes around here. So that's probably what we end up doing. Makes the most sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But on Monday itself, I assume. No, uh, most. I guess most places are doing it on the weekend, right? Yeah. Most places are doing fires on the weekend. Oh, uh, well, we have the Rancheros thing Sunday night. Maybe we can all go watch some fireworks. Uh, last year, what we did was we sat in the backyard and we watched. From the backyard. Oh, you could see him from y'all's backyard? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. So that's probably what we'll do. That'll work out. Okay. Yeah. We don't do fireworks at our house. We got, I'm with Madman. We got fur babies and they, they, they shiver and yeah. they're very scared. They're, right. they're scared of thunder. So, of course, the, the, that the, makes the, sense. Yeah. The bang. The dog ran away, but he came back. He came back. Um, it was, he came back the next day. He was gone for a whole 24 hours. Ow. Yeah. It was kind of scary, but, um, but yeah, I mean, this is even more reason than I don't think I have real animals. I've said that before. I think I have mutants, and I say that because neither one of them. Stella, who's afraid of everything, but fireworks and thunder. Mm-hmm. That dog, that dog could sit out on the porch and watch it. <laughs> hey, Samurai Jack gifted five subs, and I got one of them. <laughs> Hell Perfect. yeah! Perfect. Thanks, Samurai Jack. Uh, but yeah, it's it's Friday. Nothing going on super crazy here. I haven't gone to the store. I know the. All throughout the week, people are going in and out of the new game store, putting things up and bringing things over. That's yeah, that's that's a lot of what's going on. Mm-hmm. That's exciting. Uh, I was talking to Justin about streaming and things like that, and Justin, I was looking up some new cameras. I found there was you can buy this pack of like three, and they're kind of like Bluetooth cameras. A lot of people uh-huh. use them for streaming, but Do for say. multiple angles. Do you say? Uh, and a lot of people have been using them in their workshops. So, like, if you have, like, a wood workshop or... A, send, me, send me a link when you're done here. Okay? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool. You could just kind of swap between them as, as yes. you see fit. I'm always down for new tech. Also, the new Rode mics. So, this is a Rode mic. This is a, mo- a Rode it mic, is, right? Uh, no. Those are... These are... Um, Podcasters? No, no. These are sure. These are sure mics. Oh. These are... Uh, not. To, I'm not going to disparage Rode. Rode is fantastic. <laughs> not a sponsor. These are... <laughs> These are the Herman Miller chairs to your, your GTX racers. So GTX racers are great. These are super, super nice. Gotcha. These are much nicer than Rhodes. All right. So Rode, Rode came out with a new wireless microphone uh, that I've seen a lot of people using, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people that make videos using them. And I was curious as to what you thought about them. I don't know if you've seen them, but they, they're really cool. They're like, oh, I don't know how big they are. They're like little squares. They're like very small. And they have little... Puffy, puffy. Do they do they sound good? I think so. They sound great, but they're they're wireless, so that's kind of cool. Oh, send me those two. 
<laughs> I will. What is DTT? What does that mean? Just what are they... I'm tr- looking it up now. Oh, okay. Okay. Is this another one? Of those digital tr- terrestrial television. <laughs> I am digital terrestrial. Thank you. Yeah. Coffee notary beer. Yeah. That's epic. Just add that to your uh, title. You can now just be uh, down to tech. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's much more. That makes much more sense, Coffee. Down to tech. No, not according to Google. <laughs> the Google says you're wrong. Sorry. Yeah, Coffee. I was gonna say, Justin, you could add that to your uh, name, Justin Elliott, DTT. <laughs> <laughs> just for people to go, what does that mean? Yeah, and they're like, what does that mean? Digital terrestrial television. television. Digital. Ter- okay. All right. I am a TV. Um. So last night, you know that we we announced the twentieth quarterly contest winners. Yeah, and yeah. Becca Roja. I, apparently, I've been saying her name wrong. She told me in Discord. I, I thought How do I was you pronounce it? Right. it? I uh, not Becca Roja. It's uh, her real name. Uh, oh, Miladel, Miladel hmm. Pamatma. She says she's laughing at me because I'm saying it wrong. It's so it's not Miladel Pamatma. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, she'll have to tell me in person or on Discord. Okay, because it's it's a uh, yeah. Obviously, I know. I know that they didn't win, but I think my favorite one was the the blowing bubble. Oh, they got fourth place. Yeah, Yeah, I really uh, like that one. Oh, what's his his name on the Facebook page? Is um, it's a really hard one to pronounce. It's like Patheros, Patheros something. That's his his name on the Facebook page. Um, yeah, he 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 called it his urban his urban rhino his like urban, (laughs) urbanized, urbanized Um, like city 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 rhino, um. And Becca Roja, I, I talked to her this morning about choosing the next quarterly contest model. Uh, right now, the runner-up for the next quarterly contest is the mech mouseling. So it's the mouseling that's in the mech, the big mech uh, right, right. mouseling. I have to go check the stock of it to see if it's a good candidate for the next quarterly contest. But if it, if it has a good stock, then it's good to go. I just got to go check it. I haven't checked it yet. But I got to go ask Courtney and say, hey, what's the stock on this number look like? And he'll tell me. <laughs> Normally, the, the winner of the quarterly contest will give me a bunch of options on what they want to see. Uh, and then I go look at all the stock. And I say, no on this one, yes on this one, no, 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 yes. And then we'll choose one. That's how it goes. So there's your, there's your little sneak peek. Also, the raffle opened up this morning for uh, the Reaper Challenge League. So the raffle opened up for the second quarter. Mm-hmm. It goes until the 8th, which I believe is next Thursday. Oh. So the, the raffle's open currently. Um, also, we didn't have the system to where you can redeem points for a gift card to ReaperMini.com yet. Right. So I put in a substitute. Uh, we're using the ticket system on the Discord, which is one of my favorite systems in Discord, period, is there's a little thing that says create a ticket. Yeah. And it, normally it's used for like if you have a problem or if you have a suggestion or if you want to just talk to the moderators one-on-one like it's just me and it's you and all the other moderators Mm -hmm. um and so we're using that system as the point redemption system so if you want to spend 50 points to get a 10 dollar gift card to reaper.com 50 points is no laughing matter it takes a lot to get 50 points so uh that you can redeem it that way people are saying my voice is soft i don't know no you sound fine to me Mm. Yeah, okay. I have you. I have you pushed way up. So oh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it's not a okay. output. I'll Hold just on. talk. I'll just talk normal then. Well, let me make sure that you're not turned down on VMix itself okay. to clarify. Yeah, last night when I was remoting in, I had none of the background. You know that whole live yeah. from Brian. None of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's okay. probably the the audio routing team. There was a recently large uh, update mm-hmm. um, to to V to the order VMix. So, mm-hmm. so did you see Frank when he passed through town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, he he messaged me and Justin and said that they were gonna sw- swing by, because they were they were traveling through and they were like, oh, we're really close to Reaper. We should maybe swing by. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of they didn't realize that nice. they were gonna be so close. Yeah, uh, we showed them the new store. Um, they picked up some models for ReaperCon. It's always nice to see Anna Frank. Yeah. So. Show them around. I, I always say Frank and Anne just because every time I say Anne and Frank, people go Anne Frank. <laughs> oh no 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 Anne <laughs> and Frank. <laughs> And and Frank, and and Frank, um, <laughs> that's fun. Um, also, hopefully, the new I heard that the the alpha test for um, who's that people that we we partnered with, Mirrorscape, the Mirrorscape mm-hmm. uh, augmented reality Dungeons and Dragons tabletop stuff. I got yeah. I got some emails about they they colored some new 
uh, Reaper models. So all the kobolds that we gave them um, mm-hmm. for their for their AR stuff, they colored them and had them digitally painted, just like they did the uh, the monk. Uh, and what about Dancer. the goblins? Were they green or were they orange? Uh, the kobolds are red. I don't know if they painted the goblins yet. But as soon as they paint them, they'll, they should they should post them. So that's cool. I'm, I'm excited to test it and mess yeah. around with it. It should be fun. <laughs> the beard has natural noise cancellation. It's not like I'm talking into it like this. I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, use it as a pop mic or something. A pop filter. <laughs> a pop filter. Yeah. Bam. And then let's see if I have anything else written down. So we, we were actually, while you're looking, we were actually talking about it, but I don't think, did we... What what are you guys actually doing for Fourth of July, Dave? Did Working. You say just oh, okay. Well, all right. catching there up on work. All right. How so, about you? Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> Although I could be spending it in the hospital. It's it's any day now. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Uh, or Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Well, I thought you about yourself. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, Dave, that's possible too. But yeah. that's not necessarily public knowledge. So you're like, let us know if something happens. Uh, yes, mm-hmm. yes, I will. Yeah, obviously. I mean, because it'll be a it'll be a crazy 24 hours otherwise. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for Fourth of July. Probably nothing. Cleaning the house. I got nothing. Mm. <laughs> That's fair. We actually might clean the house tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Independence. That's how we no. celebrate. That's how I, I work on the weekends to get caught up from the stuff that I can't get done during the week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of the times when I do tours on Saturday and stuff, Dave and Ned are normally here. They're here mowing, every day. Mowing the grass. That sounds like, you know what? It sounds like hell right now. Da- Dave, would you rather catch up on work or go mow the grass? Catch think, up on work. I was about to say. Yeah. I don't do yard work. I did all the yard work. <laughs> would you rather take a ball peen hammer to your left meniscus or go <laughs> mow the yard? A ball peen hammer. That's what I thought, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do not like, and I haven't from since I was a kid, I don't like yard work, gardening, Outside stuff? Outside, yeah, that sort of stuff. I just do not like it whatsoever. Isn't the meniscus like the very bottom of the cylinder when you're measuring? That's the, the uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. But your meniscus is also your. Oh, yeah. it's both? It means both? Yeah, it's, it's both. Ah, English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, dating a sci- I'm dating a science major for, for goodness sake. I should know that. <laughs> You should, yes. I just troll her with the mitochondria as the powerhouse of the cell. <laughs> <laughs> she hates that. Every time. That's the you best just, joke. You just go, actually. Actually. Then... <laughs> it's the mitochondria. <laughs> uh, but no, it's super hot right now. I, I feel like I'm, I die every time I get, when I leave work, it's so hot in the car. Yeah. I actually started using my little sun shield thing. Heat shield. Which is Star Wars, by the way. Oh, is it? It has um, Alec Guinness on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. McKaylee thought she was going to like surprise me with that because she asked me if I wanted one. So she ordered it and she didn't tell me she did. And she goes, God, where's that thing at? It's literally going to take a month that I have to get here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be halfway through summer by the time it gets here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wish I had it. Meager. Um, yeah. We've been, we've been waiting for that restock for forever. So we're still waiting on that. The one we talked about last night? Yeah. The restock yeah. restock? I was going in and checking records, and I was like, holy crap, we're now going on seven months. It's ridiculous. Seven months when it was supposed to be here? Seven months when it was ordered. Since, since it was ordered. And normally, God. you would get it in 90 days. 90 days. Yeah. Which is three months, right? Yes. Oh, gosh. It's that far behind? Yes. Ooh. That's terrible, yeah. That is terrible. The world is crazy still. Which restock? Is this 5.5? That is... No, no, no. That's, no, that's restock. Yeah, that's the restock and 5.5, 5. yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, both, okay. essentially. Both of wow. them, yeah. But 5.5, 5, they're both on the water. One might be somewhere. <laughs> it's like <laughs> One I, might be somewhere. That's the best way to put it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's somewhere. Uh, I let we, Ed, Ed handle all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The best we heard, it was going through Panama to Houston. So. Yeah. Hell Yeah. Also, hey, if no, you no, were, Pendrake actually a forty footer, and I believe it's a twenty footer. So total of sixty feet. Is that what is holding up the Kraken restock? Hmm. Is no. it? Maybe. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dave, no. No. <laughs> That's He's a different memorized restock. All the numbers. It's a what? That's a different restock. Oh, okay. Different one. Mm-hmm. Um, you're welcome, Varl. 
Yeah, he's been he's been cleaning up some of the. There was a few. There was like a handful of Bone Six stuff that was a little weird when we first launched it. So I'm glad that it got fixed. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Yeah, I I gave a tour. You know, I've been given a bunch of tours now that it's summertime, mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't know about Bones USA. Or sometimes they're like, "Oh, we just found out that you were here." I was like, "Oh, we've been here for 19 years yeah. almost. Yeah, <laughs> a long time. 18 yeah. years. Yeah. In this, I building. just found out about you guys. How long you been in business?" Uh, 30, 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, in fact, been... there was some girl. Where was I? Oh, I was at the bank. Mm -hmm. I was wiring money uh, to China, I think. And then uh, she's like, so what is your business? How long you, you know, how long you've been in business? Oh, 30 years. And so I started thinking, so what were you doing in 92 when we were starting the company? I wasn't even born. Okay. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic. And. Classic. Uh, during the tours, I show them, oh, this is our new Bones USA, yada, 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 the whole spiel. And they're like, oh, wow, this is so much better than Bones. I, I got Bones 1 back in yeah. you know, so long ago. And, you know, some people, they, they got Bones 1, and then they maybe went off and did other stuff. and then To expand so the line new. to larger figures, yes. Yes, there is. Uh, oh, larger figures. Yeah. yeah, we're currently working in that d direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. right now we're limited by mold sizing and mold sizing things and like that. the weight itself. There is a weight limitation, but mm -hmm. we are working to expand beyond that. Yeah, there's yeah, ideas we're, brewing. We're blazing a new path here, so it's going to come with some weed, Pretty much. weed chopping. So, yeah, I mean, um, there's a lot of advancements being made. They talk about new things they want to add. They ask us, like, "Hey, what would you guys want to see?" Kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of still R and D and new things. It's, it's a new, it's a new frontiers, as they say. Yeah, yeah, Ed's usually talking to them about at least once a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they come over and they're like, "Hey, John, try this." I'm like, "All right, I'll try whatever you tell me to try." I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm just making molds. <laughs> Let's see, '92. I was playing with a fire truck on the floor of our new house. Nice. I was currently having a girl break up with me because I was spending so much time at Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> True story. True, true story. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes Sarah's like, you know, you work too much. I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> work just, just fine. Well, you guys are on opposite schedules. Yeah. So it it makes kind it of works with the night schedule stuff. But I was in high school. I was two years old, 1992. Yeah. Yeah. We were two. I was two years old. That's right. Mm -hmm. Probably shooting BB guns. No, not at, at two. two. Not yeah. at two. I was like a seven or eight when I was shooting BB guns. Raised out in the backwoods of Mississippi. Shoot, 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 give a BB gun to a two-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> make it moonshine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping Pappy make moonshine. <laughs> hey, Moonlight, thanks for the raid. Uh, you were sculpting. I just don't know what you were sculpting. I saw the announcement on Discord. Man, there's painterly Git. <laughs> Someday we hope to raid you. Yeah, I well, happened not to be there the one time the one that we, time did. we did it. For, the, for your birthday. Also, thanks for the candy. Thanks for the candy last night that you sent us. Very good. Um, these I don't like as much, the Smarties. No offense. Uh, I really like the Coffee Crisp, though. No, the Coffee are, Crisp are, are great, yeah. Very good. The Live Playset Justin figure will be a Bigfoot? God. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Reaper Live Playset. Mm -hmm. We do have a Bigfoot, or his name's Sasquatch. We do, and that's actually the one that, that Bob painted. In fact, it's literally right here. Oh, I really? See it. Yeah, it's right behind me on the shelf here. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was the entry. It says, uh, what did it say? The title had your name in it. It said rare sighting of Justin with no, uh, yeah, Justin. That's because right. Yeah, it's Bigfoot with no pants. That's right. Mm. Nice. So the central venous pressure was leaked, accidentally leaked concept last night. Uh, oh, a CVP? Yeah. Uh, they, uh, during her stream, mm -hmm. I mean, you mean today? Uh, what was it, Chad? What was her secret mini? I don't know. Um, I also think that there's going to be a manufacturer award for a CVP, I think. <laughs> From whom? It was in an email. Uh, it's Christine Van Patten. Uh, oh. Moonlight Minis. I believe there's going to be a a manufacturer award, I, I think. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to speak too soon, but I, I remember they were in an email. They were saying that they might be. So oh, I don't know. cool. Well, congratulations. There is. Moonlight Minis says there is. Okay, perfect. <laughs> it's like, maybe I'm leaking stuff. I don't know. Mm. No, I'm just giving the correct information. That's what that means. Well, you're leaking no leaks stuff, here. but not in relation to this. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. money. So, speaking uh, of money. money. Oh, oh yeah. perfect segue. Right. So, this time for tri uh, money corner, whatever, whatever we call it. <laughs> money corner. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about cryptocurrency, which I've been doing a lot of research on to try and be able to figure this stuff out. Uh, 
basically it started in 2009, mm -hmm. um, and it is not a denominational currency of any particular country. Uh, and what it basically meant was that you had a computer that could solve a very complex uh, equation. And once it had solved it, now you, you started guessing at a particular, Interval? I don't know how many, 128 bit or 300, something like that big, long, long hexadecimal number. And if you guessed it after showing your work and doing all your computations, if you guessed the, the correct one or got very close, then you, you got rewarded Bitcoin. You got a coin. Uh, yeah. no, actually, you got more than that oh, when it oh. started. But see, every four years, it actually starts cutting in half. So right now, the current one, if you solve the equation and get it, you mm -hmm. get six and some fraction of Bitcoins. But back yeah. in the day, you would get uh, 10 or 20 Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Uh, and back in the day, it only re required an actual regular PC. But now, because of the complexity of the equation and that you're actually uh, competing with these mega uh, uh, servers, uh, you really need uh, uh, specialized equipment to actually put in. Something to the tune, uh, at least according to Investopia, about $10,000 worth of hardware to put into your system. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, if you do get it, you get about six, a uh, little, a little bit more, and then you uh, can now start verifying a public blockchain. And what it is is that uh, you have this whole chain of transactions, and this ledger of transactions is made public. It's all open. It's all open, and it's stored on servers all over the world. So not one one country like the United States wants mm -hmm. to put sanctions on Russia. Doesn't f affect. Uh, uh, Bitcoin or any cryptocurrency. I think this word is uh, decentralized. Is that yes. the word? Okay. Decentralized uh, records. So, but it's, since it's public, everybody can now verify it. And so, if you actually have one, someone can verify that yes, you were supposed to have it. Caution: Make sure that you have a digital wallet or something to hold it in. Mm -hmm. I've heard stories uh, that people you would go, and in fact, I've seen yeah. stores. You can go and buy cryptocurrency here, and they give you a little thumb drive. Uh, that's not a wallet, and that doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily mean. Make sure that you have a wallet that mm -hmm. you can actually store it in. Um, and let's see. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Some of the bigger countries that are actually uh, mining it, since it takes specialized equipment now, are China, Canada, Russia, and USA. It's estimated that at the current rate of being mined, that it will actually run out in 2040. Oh, wow. Um, is, there, is there no way to make more? No, because oh. the way the algorithm and the program worked, it only allows for so many coins, like uh, 11 million coins. And this is something. just Bitcoin. This is just Bitcoin, got it, got it. not Dogecoin or got anything it. else. And the, the advantage of it being public is, is that it's, it's, uh, everybody can verify your uh, transaction. Run out of what? Run out of Bitcoin. Uh, according to Google, China was one of the bigger miners. Mm. Mm. Uh, so... Uh, but it has a length. The, the equation actually does run out after so many Bitcoins have been. Then they'd make a Bitcoin too. Or something. Maybe so. But <laughs> the thing is, is that it's very volatile. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, at some point it was as high as $60,000. Yeah. And it was very, very low at the start. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's very uh, speculative. You don't want to put your retirement in there. The good advantage of it being uh, some of these coins are being public is if you haven't kept up on current events, there is a lady called, you named her, Ruja Ig Ig Ignatova. Ignatova. Yeah. Yes, who just made the FBI 10 most wanted list. She started her own digital currency called OneCoin, but all the ledgers and everything else were private. You actually had to buy some to get into her coin. And it turns out, it was just a Ponzi scheme. Uh, they estimate that she actually uh, sped off with about $3 billion of investors' money. Mm -hmm. And uh, last seen in Greece. Yep. So, now, you have this Bitcoin. Uh, what can you do with it? Well, you have to find someone that will actually accept it. Money is only as good, or trade is, is a medium of exchange, is only as good as someone is willing to accept it. Uh, it's now becoming more and more common. I've seen it at stores where you can buy things with Bitcoin. You can buy into mm -hmm. Bitcoin. Uh, even Coinstar 
now actually has where you're turning in your change. That's funny. You can get a Bitcoin. Because you can make, since it's digital, you can make a very, very small Bitcoin if you need to. Uh, but uh, let's see. That is pretty much about it. The, mm -hmm. Like I said, the ledgers are public, and there's what they call hash totals on each Bitcoin. And that hash total is a culmination of, of uh, an equation on everything that's within the block. So if you try and, and change something in the block to change the value, you change the hashtag. Now the hashtag doesn't match up with the blockchain, mm -hmm. and you've basically rendered your Bitcoin worthless. Kind of so, ruined it. Ru yeah, so you don't want to do yep. that. Anyway, um, the IRS, at least in the U.S., the IRS is looking at it. Uh, and for tax purposes, oh. unless you are actually mining it, then it's considered like buying a stock. Mm -hmm. You go out and buy IBM or something else like yeah. that. You bought it and it was ten thousand dollars a Bitcoin. Now you're selling it at twelve thousand. Well, then you just you have a capital gain of two thousand yeah. dollars. I, I I I know that there there's a couple. There was two criminals that they got that got caught. I believe in New York, right? Mm -hmm. They were smuggling. I can't remember how much. Are they? They, they obviously, since all the wallets are open yes. and public, it's really easy to track down criminals and, and people trying to launder Money and things and, like that. So yes. I heard, I, you hear all these kinds of stories, but the most, the one that I know of recently was that the girl that was a rapper um, and her boyfriend from like Romania or something like that. Somebody in chat might know, but they were trying to launder money using Bitcoin. And they were like, well, it came from this unknown wallet, and then this wallet tracks to this guy. <laughs> yes. And it's like, all right. And then they, they, they got him. Yes. So. And there's always a story. You know, there's always a story. It's kind of like when I was growing up, there was a story of, of uh, somebody, they were selling a brand new Corvette, which was normally, say, twenty or $30,000. Uh, and they were selling it for seven. Seven thousand dollars. Who doesn't want a new Corvette for seven thousand yeah, yeah. dollars? But the problem is, someone died in it. Oh, you know, and and so you know, it's I mean, and if they're not still in there, I'm, I'm yeah. <laughs> but it was all just that's just the the wives' tale. Yeah. Now the thing is, is that there's the thing is that someone, someone, some lady, some guy bought Bitcoin, didn't tell his wife. She cleaned out the house. Uh -huh. It's now in the landfill, and the, they won't let this guy go to the landfill. Yeah. That's to, this guy that I wrote. It says lost wallet. Yeah, and lost like his ten, wallet. It's like ten million dollars. Dollars into yeah. it. So you know, probably a wives' tale. But yeah, if you lose your or forget your wallet, it's gone forever. I can see that. It's just yeah. like your normal wallet, I guess. So yeah. anyway, did I ever tell you about the time that uh, that Scotty and I chose? Oh no, uh, we chose thirty dollars worth of Taco Bell over thirty dollars worth of Bitcoin back when that would have bought us. A couple hundred Bitcoin, <laughs> hundred Bitcoin, not not hundredths of a Bitcoin, like yeah. like a hundreds of Bitcoin. Could have been a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, back in two thousand, and this yeah. would have been two thousand and like five, I think, is when this was. Mm. Something now, like something that. that Ed and I always tell people when they come in and want to ask us about things, of being accountants, is that if they're selling it and they're advertising it on the radio, the money's already made. It's not a good time to invest in. Oh, yeah. So cool. now that you can see it and it's for sale at convenience stores, this is not the, really the time unless you just feel like being very speculative. Mm -hmm. Most of the money is already done. Yeah. Similar to the gold rush of 1849. Mm -hmm. At the start, it was very profitable to mine gold. But by the end of the gold rush, all the profit was actually in selling the supplies to the miners and in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, it's that's the become GPUs the thing is that you, processors. they're charging you service charges every time you, you buy into or, or, or share a server or have a monthly maintenance, all the money's being made off service charges, not so much actually mining it. And because the volatility of Bitcoin, it's not, it's not very profitable at some time. Sometimes it is. So, you know, do your research if you plan on getting into that. Yeah, well, this is where we add the disclaimer where we e e seek licensed professionals for, yes. for financial yes. advice. We and anybody that asks advice. me, I always say, <laughs> don't, don't invest in anything unless you're willing to do the homework. Don't sit around, well, my friend over here says, you know, buy, buy crypto. Unless you're going to do the research and do the homework, don't invest in it. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, stay away. That's that's what we did. Or actually, we had a buddy that we played WoW with who worked at Microsoft back then. Mm -hmm. And he was the one telling us, hey, you two really need to buy Bitcoin. And we were like, we literally couldn't wrap our heads around what it was. Mm -hmm. So we were like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I don't know what this is. What is this? We can go get Taco Bell. Yeah, we'll do <laughs> NFTs later. 
Yeah, yeah, it's it's really it's always what someone is willing to like. How did Bitcoin get up to sixty thousand? Mm-hmm. It's always willing what someone is willing to pay for it. But if no one is willing to give you any value for it, any money, Elon then it's Musk. worthless. Well, there's the whole segment right there. Yeah, and NFTs? most yeah. most of your NFTs, by the way, are twenty five cents. Yeah, they're 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 the only ones that off. you hear in the news. Are, they sold this one for ten million dollars. Yeah. You know, it's like okay, that's La- well. The last percentage I saw was NFTs had dropped something like ninety something percent. Or percent. Or, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly in value. Because yeah, they just they're falling off hard. Who was it? I think True. it was uh, Microsoft. It might have been the uh, the other guy that. Uh, but anyway, they said that uh, the the Bitcoin and all that is really not is not something you really want to invest in. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, Dangerous I haven't even touched how any, deep Bitcoin any of it. may. Uh, yeah, a couple of margin calls and suddenly the market will die. Yes. Yeah, very much. The margin calls have that effect. <laughs> yeah, Doctor Bob. Uh, exclamation point volunteer. Uh, there's the sign up for it. Uh, we're doing the same stuff that we did last year. You'll get a Reapercon volunteer shirt. Uh, specifically mm-hmm. for the volunteers and you will also get uh for every four hours you get i think five in credit or ten in credit it, it, it's in the on the print at the bottom that you have to sign uh it's in there all the details are there and pyromancer wants to know where they can get their reaper coin talk to john uh, reap coin yeah reaper coin john's the in charge of reaper coin that's our new cryptocurrency we'll, we'll be accepting it in 2023 uh reaper coin Fun little uh, tidbit here, too, that I think I don't know how a lot of people knew about. Did you know that there was a, a giant, giant uh, sunspot forming on the mm-hmm. sun like last week or whatever it was? Yes. It was doubling. And then it finally turned into a CME, which is a cor- what is it, coronal mass ejection. Ejector, yes. And it, uh, they lost track of it like 24 hours before it, when it like burst. And they said, well, we don't know if it's headed towards the Earth, but uh, it burst. So mm-hmm. we'll find out if, if it did. Yeah. It might be the 29th. Nothing happened. So obviously it didn't come at us, but because it could have caused a, what they said, a it could geostorm. knock out the satellites. Yeah. yeah. This, well, they said yeah. it could cause a geostorm as well. And mm-hmm. like it, it wasn't like an ending thing, but it would have been pretty severe. But uh, you're right. Yeah. Or potentially severe, I should yeah. say. We, we don't sell miniatures. We sell pictures of miniatures. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be our yeah. new NFT stuff. Like all the cards, all these cards that I made. This is this is these are just NFTs, uh, physical NFTs. You guys can carry around. <laughs> yeah, the white metal standard. That'll be yeah. the new thing, John. We'll go from physical to digital back to we forgot about yeah. physical. Yeah, NFMs, uh, mm. non fungible minis. NFMs. That's a that's a good April Fool's joke for next year. Uh, maybe two years ago it would have been a funny joke, but. Yeah. Did you know that Mars is losing its atmosphere? Yes. Uh oh. Yeah. It's been stripped away. It's being stripped away, uh, but we have the magnetic poles that are protecting ours. However, with a corona mass ejection that's strong enough, that could actually overpower that. Absolutely. It could completely strip away our atmosphere. That's scary. Yeah, because we have, so we have a molten core that's still active and moving. Mm-hmm. And as a result, it generates uh, uh, electromagnetic poles and fields that protect us from solar radiation. Mm-hmm. So Mars, the idea is that its the core, core is went out. So, yeah, yeah. Well, it's not out, but it just stopped moving, right? So it's not generating, the, or it's moving slower. So it's not generating it, and it's losing its atmosphere. Mm. So what was that movie that everybody was talking about last year about the the world exploding or or a meteor hitting a meteor hitting the world? It had um last year. Yeah, yeah. It had what's his face in it? Oh crap! Oh, Actually, they're Greenland? making those kind of movies Greenland. all the time. I think it's called Greenland. No, Greenland. That wasn't it. Um. Oh gosh, what's that actor's name? He was in Django. He smashed his hand, cut his hand open. Oh, don't look up. Don't look yeah, up. Yeah. Oh, right thank you. Yes. The humorous one. Yes. Yeah. Well, humorous, yes. I guess. A humorous. statement of our society with uh, about uh, co- politics and how politics they treat it and, and like mass media. Yes. Yeah. It was good. I liked it. It was a good watch. Yeah, it was, and mm-hmm. it was so true. <laughs> Yeah, it was because I can see too busy that arguing over who controls the ashes instead of stopping the problem. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, I loved it when they they had a solution in mind, but then then all of a sudden the, like, the mega companies <laughs> start showing up, going, "We could profit off." This. Yeah, it's like how can we make money off of that? Um, with the virtual dungeon Kickstarter, are you guys selling virtual NFT minis for it, or can we somehow get credit for minis we own in real life for them in game? No, we they have specific STLs that are going to be in Reaper packs essentially. So they you buy them in bundles and you can get them that way. So there, there's no way to redeem what you have or anything. It's just what they have. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they have like a goblin pack or a cobalt pack. 
um, and things like that for that. And that is Arcana. Mirrorscape, to be more specific. Correct. Um, no, Varl, I did not. The level of Lake Mead. Yes. Yes, it's uh, getting... Lower? Very low. Oh. Very, very low. In fact, they're finding boats and cars, and, and it's just continuing to drop. Oh. Lake Mead, I don't know what that is. Uh, Hoover Dam. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, right. Powers uh, Las Vegas and generates a lot of electricity. Yeah, I've been there but twice. if there's no water, that's true. How low is low? <laughs> low is is dangerous. Low. Uh, record lows, probably. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, I've been there. I stayed at the hotel, right there. That's the only time I've I've gambled in Vegas. Was at that hotel actually at the Hoover Dam. Oh, really? Yeah, it's very pretty actually. Going to the going actually to the Hoover Dam. Yeah, they found a, a body in a barrel oh. out there. Oh, wonderful! Great. Yeah. It's, Great, man-made lake too. Yeah, no, they haven't found Jimmy Hoffa. I'm thinking that he probably had an acid bath. They're never going to find him. Mm. There you go. But <laughs> join us next week when we yeah, <laughs> talk speculate about dead bodies <laughs> on what the mafia did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't come after us though. There you go. That's pretty good. Um, I I don't really have anything else too exciting. Any, you know, uh, I'm just excited for the three day weekend, but uh, all the all the things kind of wrapped up. We have the we had the quarterly contest, the Reaper Challenge League quarter. Mm-hmm. So all, all those things are about to start back up. Obviously, Reaper Con still going. You know, we're waiting for Base Boss Two. Everything's just kind of rolling along right now. It's just kind of going down the hill. Nothing super. Oh yeah, marbles. Marbles. Yeah, what marbles. is that? <laughs> What's marbles? <laughs> yeah. We haven't played marbles in three weeks. But it's marble time. Actually, it's July first, right? New month. It is a new month. New tournament. Did you ever, I don't know, did you guys award last? I we believe did. we did. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, we did. Oh, okay. Yeah, we played with Bill. Old Billiam. Oh, that's right. Old Today's Billiam. 101. Yeah, he was, uh, he was very soft-spoken. Normally, Bill's not as, soft, as soft-spoken. Why are these bodies shrinking? Where does it go? Uh, lack of rainfall mm. and lack of snow, which normally feeds to them. And the polar ice caps are melting. Evaporation and drought. Yeah. Isn't California still? I think they're going to be yes. in perpetual perpetual drought. They've been in drought for like, what, eight years or something? Yes. Yeah. And that's the thing is that in the normal cycle, the, the Australian outback, the firefighters from the U.S. go down there and help Australia out. And then when they get into their cold, wet season and it's no longer a fire hazard, the Australians come to the United States and help us mm. during our... But the thing is, is that mm. it's gotten to the point that it's like perpetual down in Australia, so they never come here. Oh, yeah. I saw a documentary about why like 90% of Australia is people don't really live. Mm-hmm. And there's there's no green. There's like no. It's kind of deserty. Yeah, it's very much so. Yeah. And they say that the the Arctic cold air, when it's coming up, uh, the 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 northern air kind of diverts it. Mm-hmm. Also, the whole east coast of Australia is very gigantic mountains. I can't remember the name of them, but huge mountains that stop the 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 air coming from off the ocean this way. Yeah. And so it just kind of blocks all that the clouds. It blocks yeah. all the clouds and stuff from coming into the mainland. I used to remember all the or knew all this, but. I remember back in college that if you look at South America and the country of Chile, mm-hmm. right, there's actually huge deserts in Chile because of the, the prevailing winds off of the ocean. Mm-hmm. Being so close to the ocean, you think it would be green. Yeah. But it's the prevailing winds and then the, the heat of the uh, water itself. Mm. It's pretty crazy. Or we will freeze the earth in 2012. <laughs> 2012. Hey, it was a good movie. Yeah. Israel, that, is, fun that is how they get major portion of their fresh water. I don't know. Uh, Madman, uh, California needs to build some destination plants to change ocean water into fresh water. Oh, desalination? Oh, desalination. What did I say? Destination? Desalination. That's a new word I've never heard. Yeah, and the guy who did, uh, if you've ever seen the movie The Big Short, who took advantage of the collapse of the housing market... Uh, that's apparently where he's putting a lot of his future earnings or future money is in uh, water as becoming more and more scarce resource for the earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I paid five eighteen for gas last week. Dang. <laughs> you know Jesus. it's bad. Where's when, gas at where, everybody, where you guys live? Uh, you know it's bad when uh, Ed made the observation when we were out running errands that, hey, gas is getting a little cheaper. It's down to four forty three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you go, oh. oh. 490, Emily. 
420 for Valandar, uh, which I believe is Tennessee. 495, 430, 589. Ugh. 509. Way up in the mountains where there's no gas stations. Yeah, I think it was 518 here last week. I think. 495, Arizona, or Arkansas. Sorry. R Kansas. Oh, speaking of R, R Kelly was going to prison for 30 years. <laughs> yeah. For, for the rest of his life, probably. Is he? Yeah, yeah. He, got, he got sentenced 30 years. two days ago. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. 30 years. Bam. But, uh, you know, uh, let's see. Was it federal or state charges? Oh, I can't remember. Um, I yeah. would have to guess federal, but I'm not sure. Federal, you have to serve. Mm. So, so there's you, no, no it, parole? Yeah, state. <laughs> state, you get t- time for good behavior. You get uh, parole and all that sort of stuff. I have no Unless idea. the Fed says that you're eligible for parole, you serve the entire yeah. time. Well, I mean, that's Those, good uh, for, the, that- for the better. Those cells are kind of small. Talk about being trapped in a closet. Yeah, trapped in a cell. Yeah, he's going to come out with the new chapters. Yeah. Water is cheap in Memphis. $7.50. Gallons. Here we go. Who's R. Kelly? <laughs> Who's R. Kelly? Yeah, good one. You're 100% right. Month of Marbles, now live. Month of Marbles. June 29th to July 20th. Sign up today. There you go. There is federal parole. It is federal. Nice. Rest in peace. Barely. Jul- Jul- July. <laughs> July. Have you gone all urban on us, Justin? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, it drives some people nuts. And I don't want to say I'm a bit of a contrarian, but sometimes I am. <laughs> no, I thought uh, Gilseen got 20 years. Oh, yeah, yeah, she got 20, right? Yeah. But uh, in your observation, that's why whenever you see the uh, Lady Justice holding this, the sword and the scales, she's always blindfolded mm-hmm. because justice, justice is, is blind, blind and is yeah. not always what you would consider fair for all situations. Mm-hmm. But no, I do believe she got 20 years. All right, let's start off with something here. I'm you guys want good. high death rate first or uh, low death rate let's first? Let's see. Maybe something uh, 25%, like this. 25%. Big glowing pathway. Yeah, that one seems solid. Seems good. I like that we have our hands hmm. in here. Oh. Oh, painterly get how you play marbles is you first send John five dollars. <laughs> I wish. Uh, is it loading or did you crash? Uh, no, the Unreal Unreal Engine crashed. Hold on. Okay. It crashed. You can just you can just watch our hands. Don't 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 do exclamation point play yet. It crashed. Yeah, marbles marbles had an update so. Okey that's dokey. always his. You notice that's his excuse all the time. Update. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. I can't choose to not update on Steam, unfortunately. That whole thanks for the 500 bits. I, <laughs> really, really, get. I really can't. <laughs> Steam forces it. There's no way around it. Thanks for the 500 bits. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Dr. Bob. That's so true. Mom. Okay. Oh, we're gonna, not going to be able to find it again. Oh, uh, no. You'll it'll find be, it. It'll be down here. It was past the 60% one. Was nope. It? Nope. You didn't see it. It was here. A oh, glowing pathway. Big glowing pathway. Unreal Engine? Yeah, of course. Unreal Engine 4, I would assume. There we go. Oh, the physics of it. Maybe yeah. this is why it crashed. No. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of like a peacock. Yeah. That was probably Valandar, I think. Yeah, I haven't seen something like that since the 60s. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The 60s and the 70s. That's what my living room looks like. Sarah loves the 70s. Oh, really? Yes. Why? I don't know. She said ever since she was little, she's always loved like those things. So that's what our living room and kitchen is decorated like. Hmm. Like mid-century modern, like mid-century art deco kind of stuff. Complete with shag carpet? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could go with the 80s, but uh, not the 70s. Mm-hmm. Problem is when I hear seventies, I really I kind of think of just hippies and shag carpet. Mm-hmm. That's all I think of. Lava lamps and Lava flowers. Lamps. Yeah, flowers. Psychedelic man. Here we go, and we're off. First race of the day. I saw Reaper Dav in there. He's off. Jared, to, oh. Jared is off to an early death. Oh, comet! He's plummeting. You know, speaking of stars, plummeting towards the earth. What well, is plummeting he? Hold Dav. on, he didn't like cheat, did he? I don't know. He might. He oh. Might. oh. <gasps> What? No way. Does it randomly choose? Oh, wow. He's all the way to the end. Jared, Jared's going to be first. 
Wow. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Uh, it looks like Freestyle is also falling. And Serenity Trek, they're off. Let's look at, look at everybody else. I don't think that was supposed to happen. I think that just happened by chance. He, he put in his cheat code where he, he made the floor invisible. He just went straight through. Valandar's taking a kind of a early lead here in the middle with Reaper Day right behind him. Sky's clear. Oh, Cranky, you're going to fall? Oh, oh I thought you were going to cranky. fall all the way in. Almost Cranky. I don't know if you can fall off here, but it'll be close. There's There goes there goes Reaper Dev. Oh. Yeah. That's got to be some record for this track there, Jedi Jared. That I, I can't imagine anybody uh, doing Al faster. with the second place. Mm -hmm. S. Morrison followed right behind. Falling into the really cool little gold things down at their bottom. Looks like everybody else kind of all finished all at the at the end here. Track record, yeah, 20 seconds. No joke. <laughs> yeah, 20 seconds. 20 look at that. seconds. That's, That's crazy. Wild. I wonder what the that average is, is for that. That map. is crazy, yeah. Now look at the points. Yep. Wow. 110. Wow, Jedi. Might Using your little home. tricks there. <laughs> you just went straight there. That'll never be beat. Yeah. Reaper Miniatures has the record for this map. Because he found the cheat code. Thanks, Jedi. Oh, yeah. There's Otis and Zewo. There we go. Hey, green users lived. And Quindy. Lil Lemon Drop is in there as well. He used the force. <laughs> There's the yawn. Uh, I'm sorry. Ugh. I'm doing an escape room this weekend. I'll, I'll, I'll report back and let everybody know how it goes next weekend. So if you don't show up, we know. <laughs> I'm stuck. You <laughs> didn't escape. Yeah, I didn't escape. It, it's a prison break. That's the theme of it. It's, uh, we're going to be in some cells. Some prison cells. Speaking of prison, going to prison. 40%. That's good. Gates of the Galaxy. We've just oh, done two like, space like ones in a row. Yeah. Use the force. Oh, this one's cool. A little space octopus. This one's cool. Pretty. Whoa. It got way bigger than I thought it was. That's what she said. Yeah, this is more uh, 80s thing. Oh. Techno pop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. This one's cool. I'm going to put a lot of time in here. So if you're new here, exclamation point play. I know we just did one, but maybe you're just joining us. But you have about another 26 seconds. Yeah, very fifth element. Great movie. That movie still holds up, too. I watched it the other day. Synth Wave. What the cannons do other than shoot obstacles out? Yeah, just throwing boulders down to blow oh, your Oh, and then the, the things shoot up and shatter them. Bonk. This is going to be cool. Well, let's see what Jedi Jared does this time. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, he's going to pull out a jetpack and fly to the end. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh, looks people getting stopped by bra uh, the rocks. Let's see who's going to get stopped by the... These are little triangles? There's like little triangles Mobra. in there. Millie. Nihil Bill is in there? Oh, yeah. You have to wait for the lasers to destroy oh, the laser, it. Yeah. Are the lasers killing people? I no, I think are, they're destroying yeah. the obstacles, aren't they? No, they're killing oh, people. Oh, the marbles. Oh, the... my gosh. Oh, wow. It's a massacre. It oh, is a okay. massacre. Whoa. The Reaper Miniature Marble Massacre of July 1st. Interesting sound effects. <laughs> Memphos was the first one to survive the lasers of death. Mm, I like the stairs. That's a nice touch. Yeah. Stairway to heaven? No. <laughs> it's going down. Coffee in first place right now. Through the toilet bowl. Into the tunnel. Who's who's in back there? Reaper Dav's in the back. Anki? And Green News are still alive, too. Oh, no, there's more up there. Meldrake and Sierra Fire taking their time going down the stairs up there. Oh, gosh. Down, down, and down we go. I bet you we're going to have to go back up. Nope. Down the stairs again. Uh-oh. It's between Memphis and Coffee. Madman's trying. Oh. It, lo it looks like it's going to be Memphis. Coming down the grand staircase. Oh, yep, Memphis. <coughs> Painterly get, Coffee Nerdy Beer, Madman. Mini Mommy. Is that Sierra Fire back there? 
My fussy kitty. <laughs> they won last night. Sierra Fire. You're going to be the last one? I mean, I don't think there's a way to fall off here, but... Uh. <laughs> just shoots off. Happy 4th, Madman. There it 4th goes. of July. Memphis. All right. Let's see what our results are here. Standings for the 1st of July. In the Reaper Miniatures Marvel Race of, of July. Memphis. Memphis. Really? Yeah. Took, took, uh, took the lead from Jedi Jared there. I'm surprised he beat the 22nd points. That's a lot of points for one race. On, only six people have points right now. It is the first race, the first two races, so. Those are your top six right there. Everybody else? Zero point gang. Yeah, that's crazy. Zero point gang starts at seventh. Seventh place. Hey, yeah. you guys are all equal. More points for more players. That's always a that's always a good you know, double edged sword. A lot of names in there that we recognize. I think I saw a few a few new ones, but Quindy, fifty second. Fifty second in the uh, zero point game. And then one of my favorite names, Grumble Drum. That's what I call my, my stomach sometimes. The Grumble Drum. The Grumble Drum. <laughs> and that, that's it for today. Get ready for the three-day weekend for most of us. I'm sorry if you don't have a three-day weekend. Turns to Dave. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll see you on social media. Who, 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 is there anybody cool on chat? Anybody cool raiding today? Yeah, who do you guys want to raid today? We'll ask you guys. Who do you want to raid? Already on it. Yeah, I'm eating pizza tonight. Pizza. I, haven't I haven't had pizza in like four weeks. Tonight is the night. It's going down. Is that, is that Collins? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Madman, nice. I have an everyday weekend. I think I saw it before the show started. You were saying you were retired, Madman. Miniac is on. I got that. Miniac. He normally gets off at four, so... What time is it? Uh, let's see if he's. He, he might be getting off. I don't. I don't know. Let me. Let me. Let me see here. Me oh, add. there's no Reaper Aaron tonight, right, Justin? Correct. No Reaper. Yeah, Aaron tonight. Dave is or uh, not Dave. <laughs> um, Frank. Frank. Frank is out of town. He's visiting family and such. So I don't. I, there's no Reaper Aaron tonight. I don't think there was one tonight anyway. This is we did one last Friday. I thought. Mm, I don't Unless know. Unless my Fridays are mixed up. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah, I think it was last Friday, so I I don't think it would be one today oh, okay. anyway. Never mind. All right. But next Friday, I think they're still traveling, so we may not have one next Friday. We'll see. Yeah. I don't know. I have to talk to Frank. Well, go join Miniac. He's probably going to raid somebody else fairly, fairly soon. He normally gets off around 4 our time, but we'll raid yeah. him just to say, hey, what's up? Uh, he got kicked out of GW. Uh, so the, if you haven't seen his most recent video, uh, there's a whole thing. You can go watch it. It's really good. Um, I we, told him that we, we wouldn't kick him out ever. So Yeah, we would never go, kick him go, out. <laughs> but go tell him what's come up. Come hang out. Go tell him what's up. Awesome. Go say hi. All right. Thank you guys very much. Have a great rest of your week and have a safe fourth. Have a and, safe uh, fourth. Enjoy the show. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care of your animals. Ah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, sound like loud. a duck yeah. quack. He does sound like a duck. That wasn't me. See you guys. Bye. This is a city. Some call it Denton, Texas. We call it Reaper Land. And don't be afraid to create a total pile of dog shit.